Well, welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. I'm your host, Irv Rich. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about a fellow by the name of George Mueller. Now, a lot of Christians have heard of him. In fact, I've got a book out. Let me just find it real quick here. I got the cover. There it is. George Mueller of Briscoe. His life of prayers and faith. Well, I'll put a link to this uh, book. I got the audio book online. And uh, I could actually put the text online too on my blog. Uh, and if I do that, I'll include the link in in uh, the description as well. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, George Mueller of Briscoe, but uh, let me just turn the book off. I'll turn my background back on. And I need to get uh, I need to get uh, something going here. Hang on one second here. Okay, there it is. Uh, George Mueller didn't write many articles. He only wrote a couple of them, and I have them both. And the first one was entitled "Believing God Day by Day," and that's the way uh, George Mueller lived his life. I don't remember how many orphanages he had. Uh, let me just uh, maybe take a minute before I read the article. And I'm going to pause for a minute here, and I'll be right back. Okay, I found what I was looking for here. Uh, uh, George Mueller raised over 10,000 orphans, and uh, he, edu he educated them as well. Uh, there was something like, uh, now let me read it here. It was 10,024 orphans during his lifetime, and he provided education opportunities for the orphans to the point that he was even accused by some of raising the poor above their natural station in uh, British life. He... Uh, established 117 uh, schools which offered Christian education to more than 120,000. Now that's who this man is that wrote this article that I'm going to share with you, Believing God Day by Day. In the proportion in which we believe that God will do just what he says, is our faith strong or weak? Faith has nothing to do with feelings or with impressions or improbabilities or even an outward appearance. If we desire to couple them with faith, then we are no longer resting on the word of God. When we take him at his word, the heart is at peace in his whole life, uh, proved that. Now, God's delights to exercise our faith, first for blessings in our own souls, then for blessings in the church at large, and also for those without. When trials come, we should say, my heavenly Father, put the cup of trial into my hand that I may have something sweet afterwards. Trial is the flood of faith. Let us leave ourselves in the hands of a heavenly Father. But trials and difficulties are not the only means by which faith is exercised and thereby increased. There is the reading of the scriptures that we may by them uh, acquire ourselves with acquaint ourselves with God as he has revealed himself in his word. And what shall we find? That he is not only the God Almighty and the righteous God, but we shall find how gracious he is, how gentle, how kind, how beautiful he is the word and the lovely being God is. 
Are you able to stay from the acquaintance you have made with God? Uh, well, he is a lovely being. If not, let me aff uh, affirm, entreat you to ask God to bring you to this, that you may admire his uh, gentleness and his kindness, that you may be able to say how good he is and what a delight it is to the heart of God to do good to his children. Now, the nearer we come to this in our innermost soul, the more ready we are to leave ourselves in his hands, satisfied with all his dealings with us. And when trials come, we shall say, I will wait and see what good God will do to me. But it assures, he. but be assured, he will do it. Thus we shall bear an honorable testimony before the world, and thus we shall strengthen the hands of others. Before I close after reading this article, I'm just going to share one story. The worst time in my life turned out to be the best time in my life. I had lost my job. I had thrown a rod uh, in my car. And it was stranded along the side of the road. It was 22 below zero. I was in Minnesota. And then I ran out of fuel oil. I couldn't pay the rent. We had no groceries in the house and I had six kids. I had a I had one space heater that I plugged in in one room, put a mattress on the floor, and my whole family slept on that mattress. I was destitute. I had nowhere to turn, and I did not know God. Now, that's that's a trial that God brought in my life, and I, I could have cursed him, but I didn't. I got on my knees. And I prayed, and I said, Lord, you're the only one that can help. Well, to make a long story short, I ended up getting a loan at the bank. Uh, I got some groceries. A realtor put me in a warmer house, and it was only a matter of days, and I had a job, and everything was uphill from there. And because of this, I wanted to know the God that answered that prayer. And I searched the scriptures, and I found them. And so can you. So with that said, I'm going to end my podcast. But just think about that little story I shared from uh, George Mueller in Living by Faith. And you too can live by faith and trust God. He's a loving God, a caring God, and a good God. And he will save your soul. Uh, and just turn to him and read your scriptures, and I'll end this podcast.